Okay, here's how to digitize using the CalComp Roll-Up Digitizer. Carefully lay your pattern out on the digitizer. You can either tape it. The grid line does not have to line up with the pattern. It's just there for your assistance. So I go to the first corner using my crosshairs, and I press 1 for grade point, um, 3 for curve point. I press 1, 5 for a notch, 3, 3, 1 for grade, and you just go around the pattern in a clockwise direction. One, five, three. This is a straight line, so I can just put my notch in. One, five, that's a grade point and a notch. Here's a corner. I can move into the center of the piece at any time. Press seven for a drill hole, and then I can continue digitizing. If I want a non-grade, non-curve point, I press nine. Then I'm back to three, three, one, five. The digitizing points should not be too close together. The tighter the curve, maybe they'll be a little closer together. Okay, I keep going around the pattern. At any time, I can glance over at my screen and see the progress. Here we have an internal pleat, so I think I'll put a notch there. And then I could also put a line there if I wanted. When I'm all done my pattern, I'm back to my beginning point, I just press 2 to close the pattern. To do an internal line, I press F, and then I'm back to doing the same one for grade points, and then F to finish. The last thing I do to the pattern is put in the grain line, so that's B, B. Then I can move on to my next pattern, and the next pattern. And that's how you digitize a pattern.